Hi, my name is David Antonio Cruz. I'm a painter and performance artist. I grew up in Philadelphia and then moved to New York, and which I was based out of for about 25 years. I always say that I kind of always knew that I was an artist. I, I don't, I always feel like my identity, who I am as a person, has always been tied to being an artist. Um, it's, as a child, it was the way that I expressed myself from very, very, very young age. I, I didn't speak a lot, so I found comfort in, in art, making art was my way of communicating. So it was always something that I, I use. I still feel more comfortable making art than actually speaking to people. Um, although folks think that I'm pretty uh, social, but I'm not. I actually really just feel more comfort um, or comfortable making work. And so it's something that I've always known. It's always been close and, and tied to my identity as a person. I actually started taking art classes really young age. I was very lucky and fortunate that I was able to start um, drawing and painting the body from a very young age and I moved to New York to go to Pratt Institute for my undergrad degree and then I stayed in New York for a while and then went to grad school at Yale University and then returned back to New York. The opera Take a Bite is kind of one of my most intense pieces. It's not my longest piece but it does involve about 30 people and it was a piece that I started working on about 2012 um, it included um, the artist Elia Alba, Micheline Thomas. The film itself was shot in Giverny's uh, garden, I'm uh, sorry, Monet's garden in Giverny. And so I was able to travel there and shoot Micheline. And then the second part of it was shot in New York with Elia Alba. And it was really much looking at the ideas of gluttony and the American dream. And um, it was staged and designed after the 1950s during the Great Migration. Um, and I really wanted to root the project in that history. So I look at early, I was looking at early TV shows, films, and those things are quoted in it. And that became the opera piece, which um, I brought together 10 actors that did all the voices, um, a jazz singer, an opera singer, McLean, Elia Alba, and um, a few other singers in the piece. And so this piece was staged at Musa del Barrio, and so, um, it is definitely my largest um, operatic piece, um, quite involved, really beautiful piece. I actually, my practice did really change a lot when I was in grad school. Um, I started experimenting with different mediums that I wasn't used to. Most people knew me as a painter, although when I was at Pratt, I started performing, and, but it was something that I kept to myself, at least not in the public's eye. And, Yale allowed me the opportunity for me to really experiment with my craft and so I started performing. I also started working in video for the first time and it was a way for me to tell stories that I wasn't used to and so um, the piece was one of the first things that I did once I left grad school and then um, I was able to bring a lot of people in to do the performance and it was really challenging and incredible because I was used to normally collaborating with one person and here I was with 25, 30 people on stage um, creating and performing my piece which was absolutely amazing and um, it also began my collaboration with Daniel de Jesus, my composer and we've been working together for about eight years um, at this point. Oh, absolutely. It's the core of my practice. You can see the smile. <laughs> um, I am obsessed with paint. In fact, my love for painting became stronger once I started performing. Um, I started having a different relationship with the medium. I fell in love again with the surface, the material itself, how sexy it was, um, the idea of touch and having something so intimate. I, performance is so much about the audience and being engaged with the audience. Painting is a very quiet, meditative, haunted moment, and I love it. It's very, it's kind of what's at the core of my practice. You know, that moment when I spend and, and spend time with a piece, and it, it's just, to me, the most magical thing that I can think of, I, that creative process, that moment when you stand in front of a, a piece and see it just evolve and you experiment and it gives you something and you challenge it back and it's quite magic. I love it. I, it's so painting is something that I absolutely love. I'm actually, I always tell my students and other folks that I'm obsessed. It's beyond love at this point. I'm obsessed with it. it yeah. 
I am working on a series of, uh, called Chosen Family, and I'm looking at, again, the queer community and just thinking how we create family structures that are non-biological. So I'm bringing in people in together as a group, and I'm interviewing them and talking about their friendships and their histories, and I'm documenting that, and then I'm composing these, like, um, these images around their idea of family. The best advice I can give a student is to challenge themselves, to work hard, uh, never take no for an answer, and just be your biggest champion. Um, listen, listen to what's being sowed, um, take advice, and then of course uh, go back and look at what you're doing and challenge yourself again and again, and be your better self. Um, another thing that I'm constantly thinking about is be kind. Be kind to your community, share with your community, be a part of a community. Um, and that's something that I'm constantly thinking about, how to engage with a community and how they lift you up. And so be generous, kind, and challenge yourself again.